Tanzania expands its railway systems with new electric trains. Tanzania is quickly modernizing its transportation system with some of its initiatives. One such initiative is to purchase two new electric multi-unit EMU trains from South Korea. This adds an EMU purchase in April, bringing the total amount of EMUs in the country to three. The new electric trains are set to be in commission before the months run out. So Tanzania is modernizing its transportation system. Tanzania began testing electric trains quite a few years ago. These electric trains will be deployed on the recently completed standard gauge railway line between Dodoma and Dar es Salaam. Tanzania purchased a total of three EMU trains, along with 65 passenger wagons and 17 electric locomotives. We do have a statement from the Tanzanian Railway Corporation and they stated, TRC has received a total of 65 passenger wagons. 17 electric locomotive and three sets of EMU trains. The receipt of equipments for the SGR operation is ongoing in different phases. The newly arrived equipments will continue to undergo testing for assurance before commencing provision of service. And that's the end of that statement. Now these trains are set to be commissioned as soon as July the 25th. Both trains, which have eight cars apiece, will be deployed on recently completed standard gauge rail lines. Now, we know, of course, that long term they intend to run from Dar es Salaam to Dodoma. Now, even more interesting is the fact that Tanzania is the first to launch East Africa's first electric trains. But it begins to be even more noteworthy. As we know, Dar es Salaam is the largest coastal city for Tanzania and it was its former capital. Now, these passenger trains intend to operate from the coast of Dar es Salaam to Morogoro. This will be on its maiden journey, covering over 300 kilometer distance. With plans for a second segment nearly complete, Turkai-based company Yapi Merkezi responded to four of the five sections of Tanzania's extensive railway construction project spanning over 1,000 kilometers, has successfully finished its first segment. The electric train, a project worth nearly 2 billion, is seen as a commenced boost to the domestic connectivity and economic opportunities with neighboring landlocked countries such as Uganda and Rwanda. The SGR's entire route will be run from Dar es Salaam to Mwanza, a port on the shores of the Lake Victoria, and Kigoma, a city on the northeastern shores of Lake Tanganyika, near the border with Burundi and the Democratic Republic of Congo. This is not Tanzania's first purchase of its kind with South Korea. The East African country so far has bought 10 sets of locomotive and coaches from the Hyundai Rotem Company of South Korea, with the express train running from Dar es Salaam and Morogo will begin operation this is set to cut down a four hours journey time that typically is endured by those commuting via bus to just one hour and 40 minutes. So it's essentially cutting it in more than half. The express train departs at 6 a.m. and arrives back at 7.10 p.m. The train is scheduled to leave Moroga at 6.20 a.m. and return at 7.30 p.m. The trains add SUG runs each day to the line. These were the first arrival of Tanzania new EMU trains, the first piece arrival. And this is what the trains looks like, essentially, you know, these were just, you know, beginning testing, you know, just to see that everything works, just to make sure that everything is in order. Because at the end of the day, they did start testing quite a few years now. So uh, this is a continuation of this interior of the trains are looking fantastic. One can say very few complaints about this, you know, this is a great development for Tanzania and its citizens, the citizens that will be using these trains on a daily basis. This is a fantastic development and I'm sure they'll be thrilled and grateful for these developments. This is another look at those trains and, you know, you just got an excited citizen demonstrating, you know, how progressive the country has been throughout the last few years. Tanzania has introduced many new things, many new trains, and this is just to look at how stable these trains are in Africa, in Tanzania. You know, this is something that you can clearly see that the citizens are very pleased with. This is a development that uh, a progressive country is making. This is a look back at early 2022 in Dar es Salaam. 
this is a look at the you know modern electrification worldway the new trains that were being introduced at the time so this is just a continuation of that for tanzania you know once again this is far from something that's slowing down if anything it is gathering momentum tanzania railway corporation says it will receive its first batch of 42 electric trains by november this year this was in 2021 Start an operation of Dar es Salaam, Mororogo, section of Standard Gauge Railway. So once again, like I said, this is just a continuation of a great progress that Tanzania has been making for quite some time. So Tanzania is clearly making great progress. This is a look at a map of Dar es Salaam, a very important city for the nation, and people will be able to commence between Dar es Salaam, Mororogo, and of course, the Doma. Doma is the new capital of Tanzania, of course. So having ease of transportation between these three major cities will be a major move for Tanzania. A positive move into the right direction because they want to make it easier for people to move in between these major cities. For various reasons, either for short-term stay, long-term stay, daily work, it could be anything. But it's without doubt a positive move in the right direction for Tanzania. So that is it for today's video on Tanzania. If you've enjoyed this video, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share your thoughts and start a conversation.